Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday, weekly vlog number two. Um, by the time I'm recording this, the first weekly vlog isn't actually live, it doesn't go live till later on tonight, so I don't know how much you guys enjoyed it. So if you're watching this now, you obviously enjoyed it, so I've continued on with the format. Um, I'm off work today, I'm back tomorrow, but um, I got up really, well, 7.30 a.m. and then I fell asleep on the couch. So what I need to do now, I'm going to go for a haircut, get that out of the way, it's getting quite long. And um, the camera lens that I sold last week, I need to ship that. Um, if I found it quite hard to go find a box. So I found a box, packed it with tons of bubble wrap because I wanted to obviously get there in one piece. Um, so I need to write a, a label out, contact the guy for payment. And I'm going to go ship it today. Whilst I'm out for my haircut, it is so cold outside, I don't even know what temperature it is. I'm going to have a look on my phone. It is 38 degrees. Not that you can, you can see. Can you see there? 38 degrees? That is cold. Um, so I'm going to go put a jumper on. I need to do a tidy up and later on I need to... I'll show you. I'll, in fact, I'll show you. So I've got the box all wrapped up and really spongy with the uh, bubble wrap. Need to write the label out if you're watching. I really hope you don't mind that the label is just going to be a cabana bay bit of paper stuck like that. So I just need to write that out, get the guy's address, find a sharpie pen, which that will have to do, and then go get a haircut. Right, so I'm back home, got a haircut. It's not like, I don't know, it looks different to the way that she normally cuts it, but anyway, it's better. And um, then I nipped back and got the parcel because I didn't have the shipping address until um, the guy texted me. So I went back to the post office. Right, I went to the post office, which I normally go to, um, which is where the parcels go to if like you're not into sign for them. I went there and you can't actually ship a parcel from there. They can't do it. Don't know why. So I had to find like go on Google and find another post office. And um, went to that post office, they could do it. Price wasn't that bad. It was only like nine pounds something to ship like a lens and that was with like sort of insurance and like tracked sign for which that's not bad but now it's like half 12 i was hoping to have everything done by like half 11 12 ish and um, so i'm gonna go make some lunch now i'm gonna wash like the old like cut bits of hair out of my hair and um, before i make some lunch make some lunch and then i'm gonna watch a movie i becca got me uh the solo movie and solo for my birthday don't know whether i'll watch that or i haven't seen avengers I um, can't know what it's called, Infinite Warfare or something like that, I can't know what it's called, um, but I'm going to watch one of them too, I'm not too sure yet. So I've got a hearty food core, Toad in the Hole, absolutely love Toad in the Hole, um, and I'm going to put some few fries in as well, I know that's not what you would generally have with a Toad in the Hole. I've got the timer set, just going to wait for that to get to zero, and I can put the chips in and hopefully they'll be cooked at the same time. So now I've got the dreaded task of doing the... Um, the sofa so we got this sofa kit cleaning kit free with the uh obviously with the sofa and there's different stages of like soft cleaner strong cleaner protection cream protector plus so i think you've got to go through all the stages so i'm gonna have a quick read through this booklet and it's a big sofa to do right so that is the first coat done Um the only thing is now i can't either sit on it or put a second coat on until it dries, it says recommended 30 minutes. So that was the protection coat. There is a protection plus. Um, it's just like serum which we've been given. And I think I'm going to put that on all the tops, like the headrests. Because um, this one here and that one there is the recliner. But these heads also lift up as well. Um, so people will obviously be putting their heads on and the guy in the shop said like the oil off people's heads is what damages the leather and dries it out and stuff. So I'm going to put it on all the tops and all the bits that you sit. So like the sides have all got the protector on but I don't think they'll need the protector plus. One thing I've noticed with the set is it's really annoying is as you can see there it doesn't line up properly. So we see all the other, all three of the light line up but this one sits a bit forward. I've tried moving it back but it just doesn't. It just doesn't want to, um, and I think I think it's not sitting on the clips right. I've tried to move it myself, but I don't know how it's clipped on, like which way. But the guy did say <clears throat> if the settee hasn't settled, because you see the middle bit's a bit higher, he said if that hasn't settled, 
within like a week or so, just give them a call and they'll send someone out with just the clips. So I think that's what I'm going to do because that really is bugging me. So I was waiting for obviously dinner to be done, lunch, sorry. And um, so the other day I didn't get a chance to make a thumbnail for the daily vlog, um, the weekly vlog, sorry. So I've just made a quick thumbnail. I don't do nothing fancy. I just make, want to make it so it's like clickable. And um, so that's done, uploaded. And um, I'm going to put that live tonight, I think. And um, but we've. We literally have no luck. I don't know if you remember during Vlogmas, the table came and uh, the dining room table and it came with a bench missing and it also came damaged. We've had a right like carry on trying to get that replaced. They wanted to send it away for repair. I didn't want it repaired because it was brand new. So why should it be repaired if they've delivered it damaged and also the, the bench was missing. So we've booked it for like next week. So Becca took actually had to take next Monday off work to um sorry the the cook has beaten um becca took next week next monday off work because that's when it was getting delivered becca's just had a phone call there saying we're 20 minutes away we're coming for your table totally unprepared haven't got the table taken apart or anything so i'm gonna have to try and do that in time before they come the latest update in what i am now calling table gate um obviously becca called me to say they were on the way I tried to strip the table down, they knocked at the door, and he was like, oh, I've come to collect their table, and I was like, um, can you just, do what, well, I haven't got the original packaging, do you want to just use the packaging that the new table's in? He was like, don't have a new, I don't have a new table for you, and I was like, right, um, I was expecting a table, and he was like, nope, we're just here to collect this one, I was like, well, you can't, you're not taking that table until they bring me new table, he was like, well, it's on my paperwork to take it, and I was like, don't really care. You can't take my table. I've paid for it. It's mine. You know, I know you, you want me to bring the new one and take the old one away. Otherwise, I'll have nowhere to sit for, like, dinner and stuff. He was like, right, well, I'll speak to me, boss. He was like, wasn't happy about it. He came back and he was like, right, well, um, we'll come back next week. And I was like, well, the original date which you were booked for. I appreciate that. It might have been a mix-up and it's not your fault. But, you know, it's not my fault either. So don't please have a go at me, you know. So Becca's had to phone them back. It's now next Monday, which was the, the day we were thinking anyway. So I had stripped the bench down, so I've pulled that back up so I could sit and eat my lunch because I was just putting that out as the guys knocked. Now I'm going to do the rest of the, ta the table, the sofa. Um, it's been over 30 minutes, so that looks like it's dry. So I'm going to put the Protection Plus one on and just like the high bits. Um, and I'm going to jump in the shower because, um, obviously with this having my hair cut, I've got bits of like dead hair all over the place. Um, so I'm going to wash them off and then I am definitely watching a movie. Oh, so I've had a nice shower, early shower just to wash wash the hair mainly. The couch seems dry. Um, it's very slippy now. If you can feel like it's got a coat on it. And when it came it had this horrible like chemical smell. And Becca googled it. And it was um, formaldehyde or some sort of chemical. Um, and it was like a really strong smell, but when we googled it, it was because that's like the travel coat that they put on, whereas they are like on the ship because it came from like the Middle East and it was on the, the guy when, who sold us it said it was going to be on a boat for about a month or something like that, coming from the Middle East. I'm going to watch some TV now. I want to watch, I don't know if I want to watch Avengers or Infinity War or Solo, I'm not too sure yet, but... Becca got me obviously an American hamper for my birthday and just having this can of uh, grape soda. Grape soda is my favourite and also meant to be eating healthy but it's so hard when there's stuff in the cover. Um, a moon pie so that was also in the hamper as well, not that the, the camera will focus very well. But it's a double decker banana moon pie and they're really really good. I normally get them in Manchester airport at the spa shop whilst uh, we are waiting the night before we travel. So see if I can find something on TV. I might see if there's anything on YouTube. I'm on Becca's seat, by the way, on the couch. I um, just wanted to test it out and see, if, see if it, why she she wanted this spot. Um, and then we'll go pick her up from the train station and make some dinner. So guess who fell asleep on the couch again? This guy. Um, I was watching, I'm watching a documentary called All or Nothing, I think it's called, about the NFL. Um, but it's now like, time's it. 10 past 5. Becca's almost at the train station, so let's go pick her up. It's absolutely freezing. So I'm gonna get the heated seats on, get back, and then hopefully have a nice hot dinner. Back home from picking Becca up. She's making dinner, she's making cheeseburger pasta. 
I'm playing a little bit Red Dead Redemption because she doesn't want a hand doing anything and um, so it's just loading up there I'm sitting on this side of the couch because it's close at the TV because over there I can't really read the uh, subtitles or see the icons or anything so I think I need my eyes tested again um, I thought I'd try try sitting here also I've had a bit of an issue I don't know if you can see down there but there's a radiator just there um, the couch was a little longer than we thought and at the time we didn't know where the radiators were exactly going to be um, so we did turn that radiator off but I've turned it on just slightly just so it's giving off a little bit warmth on this side of the room but not enough to like make the couch really hot and dry out um, but I think when I've been reading and researching online um, we're just going to have to put keep doing because we're going to condition the couch like a leather conditioner to keep it soft we're going to do that more often the back and the top of this bit more often than the rest of the couch just to keep it nice and soft and stop it from drying out and cracking so becca's just shouted to say dinner's finished again she made these awesome little like um we call them like garlic cheese bread but it's just made out of a tortilla wrap cheese and garlic on and then becca has like own recipe of cheeseburger pasta which is one of my favorite meals that she makes well we've had a nice little night watching tv when becca got home um there's a programme about Durham Prison. Durham's the next city down from Newcastle, if you don't know. So, like, a, a lot of the people in that chair are from Newcastle. Um, so, it was funny to watch, especially, like, the, the home accent. We watched a little bit of YouTube. Um, I'm going to go to bed. I am at work tomorrow. And then I am off Wednesday, Thursday. I know it seems like I'm never there, but I get sick of it. I'm going to message um, Sophology tomorrow because I can't remember if I mentioned it, but the city isn't lining up properly if you can see there that bit sticks back there and it also sticks out here when obviously all of that are all lined up so i need to get them to come in the guy said it's something to do with the clips needing adjusting so hopefully they can come in the next week or so to do that i'm going to end the vlog here and we'll see you tomorrow hey guys what's up happy tuesday i think it is just got home from work and becca is literally putting dinner out on the table I'll show you what it is because it's another like healthy Slimming World meal, but it's like a really awesome thing, so I'll sit down and show you. So we've got plenty of vegetables, but Becca made it's a it's a like a Slimming World Yorkshire pudding wrap. What is a chicken inside of this time? Yeah. And what do you, what do you make like the wrap with it? It's egg, isn't it? Two eggs, thirty grams of flour, and um, seventy-five mils of milk. That, it, it tastes like a um, a real Yorkshire pudding, but it's like much healthier so i've just had a bit of a nightmare there and um, becca shouted that the, the internet had went off so i did like a pinhole reset in the modem that knocked everything off in the house that knocked the both the amazon echo off and um, it knocked all the wi-fi smart lights off our phones playstation apple tv so i had to go around and like reset everything the the echoes i don't want to say the proper name but the echoes didn't um hook up properly so i had to reset them up because the, the, the voice activation wouldn't work for the lights so it's took like almost an hour but everything's sort of set up now let's test it also it's quite funny because the last weekly vlog a lot of people commented saying i was turning the lights off and on so i think i'm going to do it as a running joke where i just randomly say something so something in your house happens or your echo does something so alexa turn the lights off alexa turn the light off for some reason she's not working okay. oh she decided to work Oh, so now I'm finally sitting on the settee. We don't have an Alexa in here yet. Um, we're not getting one of the big ones. We're just getting one of the small ones just for like the voice control. Um, but in the corner, I don't know if you can notice there. I'll show you properly. I've got the the smart dimmer switch. So that's basically like one new light switch. Um, I know it's daft having two light switches. But you can get a little device that puts them both into one. So it just looks like you've got one light switch. But that... Philips light switch is really cool because it has four presets so I can press the button four times and get four different lighting effects and that's, there's also a dimmer and on off switch as well so it's, it's really cool so you don't have to use the voice um, recognition when we get paid we're going to get one for the um, the bedroom upstairs because that's the other place we've got the smart lights and then every time we buy smart lights for different rooms we'll probably get the dimmer switch so you can like have both in case like Alexa goes down or something we can still turn the lights on and off um, just 
reclining on the, the couch. I need to call them. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's really annoying us how it doesn't line up properly. And the guy said, the delivery driver, they just wanted to be away. And he said to call a number if it didn't line up or something after like a week. Um, so I'll, it's like, when it, it's been a week on Saturday, hasn't it? Like we've had a, so I think I might call them like Saturday or Sunday if they're open. Try and book a slot for them to come and adjust the clips. All the rest of the sofa lines up, it's just this bit. Um, but now we're being typical Brits and watching EastEnders. So now it's time for living the dream. Um, I'm sure if you're from the UK, you'll all be familiar with it. If not, um, like if you're from the States, it's about a British family who moved to Orlando, uh, Kissimmee, and they buy a trailer park and everything goes wrong and stuff. Series one was amazing, so funny, but it, it ended very abruptly. Um, season two started, but was it one episode in, Becca? Yeah. One episode in, um, it wasn't, I think we're two, I think we're two episodes This is two. the next episode. Is, it, is this episode two? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the second episode in. The first episode wasn't very good, so I'm hoping that it gets better because it, it's it got the potential to be a good show. Um, so I'll let you know what I think of episode two afterwards. But if you've watched it, leave a comment down below. Did you enjoy season one or you enjoying season two? So for Christmas, me mom and dad got us these New York Deli Nuts. Um, it got us three packets and three different flavours. And the first flavour was toffee and chilli, which were amazing. Sounds weird, but they were really good. Second flavour was hot chilli, which were nice, were really strong. Um, these ones, how what, what how bad were you laughing back when I just tried these? Yeah. <laughs> Whew, they are so hot. I already put about three in my mouth and oh... I was in so much pain, I can't even eat them, so I think I'm just going to give them to people when they, they come to the house and just tell them the normal peanuts. <laughs> um, but Becca got us this, as part of my birthday hamper, hosties, host, hosties, um, hosties. Hostess. Ho host I couldn't read it properly through the camera. <laughs> Hostess, brownies, cookie and cream, so I've actually never had these before, so I'm going to try one. Becca's, Becca's already had a little little nibble, but they look, look good, what do you think Becca? They're nice. Nice, but it just tastes like a twinkie. So, so it doesn't really taste like, like Oreos, like what's pictured on the... Not really. Mm. It's, uh, it's kicking out time. Becca wants to, to put the cushions on the uh, <laughs> on the, the settee, so that's the the nighttime ritual. And I'm, I'm not a fan of like cushions and stuff, but so one of the rules, like, well, not rules, but one of the things I said to Becca is if we get like loads of cushions because the couch is big, she has to put them back every night, so that's what she does. So... Going to bed now, but as at work tomorrow, I'm off. Um, but tomorrow I have to wait in because the like building team, whoever, like builder guy from Barrett is coming round to do some of the snags. I don't know what he's doing tomorrow. He just said he's going to come see us tomorrow. Um, he said he wants to get as many of them done as he can, but there's like a list of 20 and some of them require like specialist parts. So I don't know how many will get done. Can I get the smaller ones done? So I'm just going to end it tonight, so we'll see you in the morning. What's up? Happy Wednesday, I think it is. Um, it's like 10 o'clock now, and I was planning on recording as soon as I woke up, but I woke up at around 8.30, um, which is quite late for me. Normally the building site wakes us up, because they're still building. The house is like literally opposite our house. It not built yet. So normally like the diggers and stuff like that, which you might be able to hear in the background, wakes us up, but it didn't. So I got up and I was like, oh no, the, the builders are coming to sort stuff in the house. So I quickly got up, got dressed. I was just brushing my teeth. Ding, ding, doorbell went. I was like, oh no. Quickly ran down. It was the joiner. So he's got a couple of things knocked off the list. He came and adjusted a couple of the kitchen cupboard doors, which look, had sagged a little bit. Um, we were meant to be getting a window company out because the ensuite bathroom window doesn't open. He He's fixed that straight away, which he said th they'd left something in, which they shouldn't have. So that's fixed. And what else did he do? He did something else which I caught. Oh, I fixed the front door. The front door didn't seal properly, so he's done that, which is much better. Um, and then I think there's other people coming today to like plumbers and stuff to do other bits and bobs. I had to end that quick there because the camera battery was dying. Um, so he's fixed a few things. A few things are ticked off the list. One of the other things he did on the way out, um, on new builds they have like the plot number on like a sign whether that's for sale or not. That, they took the sign off but they left the nails in the wall and um, so he's took the nails out and he needs to come back and cement it up. So that's, that's another thing off the list because it didn't look very nice. Going to make some breakfast now, I was hoping to get that done before like they got here um, and then I'm going to take some 
play around with the camera. I like to just, even if I'm just taking pictures in the house, I like to take pictures because I like to keep stuff fresh in my mind so I'm, when I go to take a proper photo. So I've got the, the Sony out, which I've never used in, in so long. Um, so let's go see what I can have for breakfast. So now, well, before breakfast, I'm gonna wash the dishes. I hate having stuff in the dishes. I want it to look tidy, just in case they're coming. Do some work in the kitchen. Think, I might have some pop tarts for breakfast in the mammoth cupboard. Um, again, if you didn't watch Vlogmas or the last vlog, well, he didn't buy all this. This is what we got for Christmas. And I got these for my birthday pop tarts, Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm gonna have the last of them. Get them in the toaster because I'm starving. It is the last two. So there is the last two. Pop tarts, really, really nice. They're quite chocolatey. I can't taste a lot of coffee, um, but they're really nice. And the other ones that Becca got are the cinnamon roll ones. But I had these ones first because they're going out of date this month. Where well, them ones last till like June. The house smells absolutely amazing because um, Becca's got the slow cooker on, so she she set that up before she went to work. Um, so when I woke up, the house. Like smelt lovely of curry. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. Morning. So the first one up, watching our friend Disco Liz doing our new 2019 weekly series. So just gonna chill out. I haven't really got anything to do today, so I'm just sort of like relaxing on the couch. So I'm just obviously sitting watching YouTube and some magical mail drops through the door. A little book of holiday magic from Ocean, Florida. So I was lucky enough to work with these guys last year. And I'm hoping 2019 I'll be working with them again. So they sent us a holiday brochure so we can start planning our 2019 trip. So another um, person, builder, whatever you want to call him, has just been. And he was a plot. It's weird because the China came this morning, who you think would just do like wooden stuff. So he just did the kitchen cabinet, which is what I would expect a China to do. But then he also fixed the window and took the nails out of the front of the house. Then a plumber has come, so he did the silicon around the shower because that had came off. And then he fixed the sandstone on the side of the house and also took a look at the um, the plastic drain cover outside as well. So they just seem to be doing like like a, a mismatch of jobs. Um, but he couldn't do the grate cover because the screw that was in was <coughs> rounded off so it needs a whole new one. The silicon is redone, it doesn't look perfect. There's a few marks in it which I hope are going to come out once um, it's dry, I can sort of buff them off. Um, he didn't do another bit of silicon because we're getting a new shower screen, so he said it's going to have to come off anyway. Um, the sandstone, he got the majority off, but you need to put ladders up or scaffolding or something. Um, that's not my problem. But someone else has come around soon to do something else. I can't remember because it's quite a list. But I've just got some lunch in and hopefully I can get me lunch before um, anybody, anybody else comes. Um, and I'm going to put a load of washing in, get that out of the way so Becca doesn't have to do when she gets in. So a very, very busy day. So I've never really used a washing machine before. Hopefully I've done it right. Fingers crossed. I've also just added some fries to the mac and cheese. And I'm going to make mac and cheese fries because that mac and cheese isn't very big. So so it doesn't look as good as I like imagined it in my head. I don't really, I'm not really sure how the fries and chip, chips go with mac and cheese. Anyway, it'll taste good. I like both things separately, so I'm sure you could like them both together. That noise in the background you can hear is the washing machine. So I'm just going to eat some lunch and have a read through this um, booklet. Whew, it is literally all going here today. As soon as I like, go to pick the camera up, the doorbell goes again. So we've had a joiner, a labourer, a plumber, and a painter. And the painter has been to touch the cracks in, but you can't paint them until um, obviously the, the, the fill has dry. Um, I know this going to be more cracks but when the, the building manager came to have a little quick look around he said that some of the, the cracks that they're going to repair shouldn't have been here the other cracks that are settlement cracks he can't do anything about but there's like in the kitchen there was a little crack right the way down here which you can see he's just filled in so he needs to paint sand that and paint that these sort of cracks are the ones I'm on about that they can't do anything about yet but after like it's the house has settled a bit, I can just run a little bit of sealant around my finger and give it a touch up with the paint. But I am absolutely sweating. The heating isn't even on. I've got the heating set currently to 14 degrees Celsius. 
and the, the actual temperature is 19 degrees. Um, so like the insulation in this house is that good that it, that it just keeps it like that. Um, so I'm going to open the window because I'm absolutely sweating. I've got all upstairs vacuum. Upstairs is hard out of vacuum because it's really thick carpet. Where downstairs the only carpet is obviously the stairs and the living room. Everywhere else downstairs is laminate flooring so that's a lot easier than I can mop it. Got the last load of washing in. I've just got the reminder off Alexa to turn the slow cooker off so I'm going to break all of the chicken up. So we're making like a pulled chicken curry bag that puts the breasts in full. Excuse me. Put the breasts in full and then um, break them up once it's been it's been on since like 7 a.m. this morning. It's now 4 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to open the lid and show you how good it looks. So that's what it looks like. I don't want to put the camera like right over because of the steam. But that's how it looks. You literally only need two chicken breasts. And I'll show you when I'm done of how much it actually makes. So that's how much it actually makes once it's all broken up and literally... Didn't even need a knife, it just fell apart with the side of a fork. So I'm just going to leave that in there and then heat it up once it's um, once Becca's in. And we've got, I think we're having rice with it once that's cooked. So I started editing and time has gotten away. And I need to go quickly go pick Becca up. She can do dinner and finish doing that little bit of editing that I want to do. Um, I'm editing a photo as well. I'm trying to do like between both things. I'm editing a photo. I've finished the, the colour and how I want the photo to look. But there's someone I want photoshopped out of the picture so there's nobody in the photo. Um, so I'm in Photoshop in the process of removing that now. Um, and then obviously hopefully dinner's done. So back, just busy editing this photo. So as you can see, um, it's a bit blurry because I'm really zoomed in. But I'm hopefully trying to take this out so it just looks like me on my own in the lazy river. And there we go. I have the person removed. So it looks like... I'm the only one in the pool. So there's the slow cooker chicken there. It looks really nice. We've had it before. It's one of my favourite meals out of the slow cooker actually. And then again, Becca makes these little um, these little like garlic breads out of wraps. So really nice. So we've just had a, a nice sort of quiet night like we normally do watching YouTube. We're quite boring really, but that's the, the beauty of a daily vlog. It's just a little bit of what we do each day. Um, for those that know about Simon Wilson, we watch him all the time and he started to do these like three day challenges. So we've started to do that. He basically goes to a different country or a different city and lives in that city with no money, not a penny for three days. And um, so we've just watched these Dubai one, which is really good. We're going to go to bed back as it work tomorrow. I'm off again. Um, so we'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I've literally just got home. Um, Harry, our cat wasn't well, so we've had to take them to the vets. Um, and you know, obviously we've took um, Ollie in as well. Um, we think it's caused by Ollie. Um, Harry's got fleas, but Harry's like mainly an indoor cat. So we think Ollie's brought the fleas in, but we can't. Obviously Ollie's like sort of classed as a stray, but we've took him in. Um, and it, 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 the weather's too cold, he'll die outside. So we've took him in, so... She's, they've, they've deflayed Harry and they've given some worming tablets because that's making them be sick. Um, and we've also bought some um, flea stuff for Ollie as well and spray it to spray all the way around the house. Um, but Harry really didn't look well. Normally, as you know, Harry's like cheeky, playful, he'll scratch you, he'll bite you. He just, I picked him up and put him straight into the like transportation box thing and he just didn't even move. So you can tell he's not well. But I'm home now, it's, it started a blizzard whilst we were at the vets. The roads are really, really bad. Um, so I'm glad I got home in time. Um, it, it's not snowing as bad where we live, but where the vets were it was really bad. But I'll see what the back garden looks like. So as I say, it's not as bad here. Um, but down like by where my mom lives, it's about two inches deep. So half of us was like wanting it to get really bad in the snow, like deep, because it looks like really cool. And I was thinking, snow photos. But the other half thinks, I'm at work tomorrow and I work outside. And I don't really want to want to be in the um, in the snow tomorrow. But I, I wish it would still fall in the sky, because I could have took some nice, nice photos. But I'm making some breakfast. I'm going to make um, bacon and egg sandwich. Um, the bacon hasn't got long left so it's going to go off so I may as well use it up and um, I, I know I've been saying it but I really do want to watch uh, Infinity Infinity, is it in, Infinity War I think it's called might be wrong the, the new Avengers movie um, so I really want to watch that but I also want to get editing done as well so I'm on top of things so I'm going to have to sort of prioritise I'm just sitting at my breakfast knock at the door it is the joiner 
um, from the building site from Barrett. He said our cooker hub has arrived because it came scratched. Um, so they're replacing it to come in, so he's coming to do that today. And also I asked him for a price on putting a cabinet up on the wall. Um, he said he'd do that for us. And the guy who planed our doors to make them fit on the carpet didn't do a very good job. Um, so he's going to fix them for it. Um, I don't know how much he's going to charge, but I'd rather pay and get it done properly. Sorry, the camera battery died there. I'm saying I'd rather pay and get them done properly by like a Barrett builder. And then have to pay the guy to come back out and not do a good job. Plus, I feel bad saying, like, can you come out and do it again? I just took his word for it. Obviously, I'm not in, like, a building trade, so I don't know these things. Um, but the guy, the joiner from Barrett, has just been... He's replaced the cooker hood. The electrician came to wire it up. Um, and it looks much better because it was, like... It was set too far to the right, not in line with like the splash back in the cooker hob, and it was twisted slightly. He's just moved it across, and obviously the hob was scratched, he's moved it across. It's still on the front of the bench, it looks straight, but on the back of the bench it looks out. That's because the wall is not on an angle, if that makes sense. Um, so that's nothing that they could do, um, which I understand that, but it does look... 10 times better obviously it's not scratched either and um, so i just need to hoover all the sawdust up the guy was going to do it but i i know how busy they are and they've come back to fix the stuff so i said i would vacuum and um, i'm going to do it in here as well because i just the, with the carpet being new and it's quite a thick carpet there seems to be a lot of like um do you know like the little fluffy bits so i'm going to hoover that up and then i'm going to sit and watch some tv that's all i've wanted to do the past two days but i feel like like a like a house husband <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to get this vacuum done. As you can see, there's quite a bit sawdust there. And there's some sawdust up on there to get off. But the hob looks much better and it's not scratched. So I completely forgot that I was still keeping up with the daily vlogs. Um, I watched some TV after the guy came to do the, um, the cooker hob. But every time some, uh, a workman comes in to do the snag, the manager comes in to check it and like he signs it off sort of thing. But then we went to do the grocery shopping. Um, I picked Becca up. We decided to get it out of the way because Becca finished work early. So instead of having to do it on the weekend. And um, forgot to take the camera. But one thing I do want to show you is you know I'm obsessed with pop vinyls. I got, and Ready Player One, I got a Walmart exclusive um, Parzival, um in Tesco of all places. So very happy with that. I was trying to like limit not buying pop vinyls because I spent far too much money on them. But that one was too cool not to buy. But now we're going to put all the shopping away and make some dinner. So we're just sitting down to eat some dinner. Put the candle on because like the smell of food's like strong. So I just wanted to get a nice fresh smell. But Becca's made like a, a healthy spaghetti bolognese and she makes it all from scratch from like fresh uh, passata sauce. So it's really, really nice. I love TV on a Thursday because that means it is time for the cruise. So after the cruise programme, I was really excited because Riverdale started again on Netflix. and um, That's one of our favourite shows. And it was really good. The shopping was totally like... The ending, sorry, was totally shopping. Just not expected at all. Um, but leave a comment down below if you've, you've seen it and you were shopping as well. I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but now we're going to go to bed. It's really cold today, obviously, but it's snowing. Um, I think it's actually in the minuses. I'm just going to check the... Uh, so it says it's 32 Fahrenheit. I'm going to change that to Celsius. Yep, it is minus one degree. That is cold. But now we're going to go to bed, so we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's actually the next week. I know the weekly vlog has ended abruptly, and you might have looked at the time and thought it was quite short. Um, I was quite ill over the weekend. I think I had like a chest infection or a viral infection. I was thrown up. I've still got a bit of it now, and I was thrown up, I was coughing. Couldn't breathe properly, um, my nose was blocked, my ears were blocked, um, and I just didn't have the energy to vlog, so I really apologise for that. Um, so I'm just going to end this vlog here, because it's actually the next week, and I'm going to start the next week's vlog. So thanks for watching, guys. Please give a thumbs up and a comment down below, and remember, stay tuned.